Here's something that I think is going to be very beneficial for everyone in college and in school just starting the spring semester. And this is a valedictorian telling you, don't study as hard. I can't say don't study at all, but don't study as hard. College and school is not as important as your teachers are going to tell you. It's not. Make friends, make connections, and enjoy your life. I spent most of my college in the library and at my apartment studying, not socializing that much, disliking most of it because it turns out I took a year off to a co-op at a company and I realized, wow, the stuff I'm learning isn't even useful. Like, sure, I know how to do static beam analysis for bridges. There's software for that. I know the basics of it and all that, but when you actually get picked up by a company, that company teaches you how they want things done. They teach you, like, your field of knowledge is so broad that it's almost useless for the company who is niched out in their little section of the field of engineering or wherever it is whatever you're going into like keep in mind doctors might have a slightly different need for this but i'm talking in college in general do not study as hard try to get b's and c's i was obsessed with putting in straight a's because that's what i got used to in high school i would cram i would put off social engagement i put off going with my family the only social club I was a part of was the wrestling team. And I love that. But I wish I spent more time building those relationships, talking to my professors and building friendships with them, not necessarily just doing the homework and only showing up to office hours to ask them questions. Like the relationships you build up are a lot more important than the actual information you're learning. Because it turns out you can learn that by yourself. There are textbooks online. MIT has free online courses that you can just use, have access to, and learn from. The actual point of college is not to study. It's to expand your mind by meeting new people and not getting caught up in the whole grade thing. I know this doesn't apply to 90% of people out there, but... There are the few of us who went through high school with straight A's and we somehow baked that into our identity. Like we, I identified as a straight A student. Therefore, in order to keep that identity going, I basically killed myself, got addicted to nicotine, caffeine, and got very little sleep in order to maintain the grades because... I put grades here, health here, family here, and friends. And if I had to do it again, I'd go health, family, grades. Do not overextend yourself. Do not overstress yourself. And by no means am I saying you can't try to be better. You can't cut out bad habits. You can't stop watching Netflix. Like, do not... Let your grades suffer because you think you deserve to watch three hours of Netflix a day. That is retarded. What I'm talking about is someone who is taking high-dose stimulants in order to function and learn at such a level that they can maintain straight A's. Like, you can... The other part to this is also there is an easier way to do it that I learned my senior year. Because there are two ways to go through college. The first way is you check your homeworks, you skip on classes, and you try to teach yourself everything, and you just take a bunch of stimulants while doing it. And the second way, wish someone told me earlier, I'm not admitting to doing the first way, but the second way, wish someone told me earlier, which is you show up to classes, you listen to what the professor says. You then do the homework assignments because guess what? 
that's what he thinks is important is what he puts on the lectures and on the homework. So you don't check those at all. And then it turns out you don't actually have to study for the final because you already know it all. Like you, There's no cramming if you do it that way. It's so easy. I wish that older students would have told me this and there wasn't such the idea of, oh, why not we just check our homeworks and we do it later? Like, I get for some people that's like a no-brainer. But for me, it was like, wow. Like, you know, if I actually show up to class and I stop trying to teach myself using the textbook, this, this whole thing gets a lot easier. There are teachers out there who are so bad that you can't understand what they're saying for obvious reasons, even though I can't get into that because I don't want this video to get taken down, but obvious reasons why maybe engineering, science, math professors would uh, be difficult to understand and therefore you might have to use your textbook in order to then teach yourself. But even then, I recommend reading the textbook, doing the homework, seeing where in the homework you don't understand, and then fixing that. So my strategy for college is read the textbook, but first of all, show up to lectures, take notes at lectures, skim through the textbook, Mm, no. Okay. What's this no use? Okay. Uh, my advice would be to okay. Well, let's tell you how this is how I got straight A's my senior year of college in engineering. I would record my lectures on an old iPhone if my professors didn't upload the lectures. I would then pay attention to what the professor was saying during the lectures, not taking any notes to distract myself. And after I got home, I would put the lectures on times two speed. I would go through them real quick, take notes on the stuff, do the homework assignments. If anything, the homework assignment confused me and I'd always do the homework assignment with my notes. That way I could make sure my equations were correct because if you have the wrong equation, which has happened to me because the professor wrote it down wrong in his lecture, you will find that out by doing the homework with that incorrect equation. But you do the homework, if you have any issue with it, then you go back to the lectures and you review that section until you understand it. At that point in time, you can use Chegg to see the solution if you're really not getting it. Because seeing the solution will show you the parts that you do not yet understand. Then after you do the homework, if you're having even more difficulty, office hours. They are there. Go to your office hours. But doing this, I was able to, for 413 Design and Mechanical Assemblies, which is a very difficult class, I was able to get hundreds on both the midterm and the final without ever opening the textbook and cramming right before the exam. All I did was I flipped through my homeworks and I'm like, okay, 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 yep, looks all good. Guess what? My notes, through this whole process of doing the homeworks, you are iterating on your notes. You're adding reminders. You're like, oh, this only, like, this equation is for this situation, but it doesn't apply if these conditions are there. Like, you're editing your notes and the whole point of doing the homework is to make sure your notes are good enough. Because once you get advanced enough, a lot of your exams become open textbook, open notes. And that's my recommendation.